Hey, once again, everybody, it is Wednesday evening's edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. We have Winter's Revenge coming our way for well, a few days anyway before uh, early spring takes over once again by the end of the weekend. Let's uh, talk about what's happening this evening. I'm recording this video just after the 6 o'clock newscast at about 6.30 on the uh, nose. We still have some light rain at that point. Uh, no snowflakes out there just yet, but the uh, rain snow line's not far to our north and west. Uh, it is uh, snowing at a decent clip up towards Cleveland, but you'll notice actually, boy, this is kind of ugly, just unimpressive. There's a dry slot of air in the mid-levels that's punching into this system. And I just, I don't think there's going to be a lot of snow as a result in our area tonight. I'll talk about the uh, accumulation potential in a moment. Notice there's actually some thunderstorms in parts of uh, eastern West Virginia and into the panhandle of Maryland and up towards uh, Johnstown, PA. Some lightning and thunder may be a possibility here over the next hour or so. Here's our high-res future cast for tonight. Now we're going to see this transition from rain to snow from west to east on average between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. And we may get some big fat flakes for a while, but after that we're going to get into that dry slot. Everything's pretty unimpressive, I think, as we get into the overnight. I think as we get up tomorrow morning, you may wake up to at most, I think, an inch or so worth of snow in some spots. I can't rule out maybe an inch and a half close to two parts of Mercer County, maybe but a good average for our area is gonna be around an inch. And the bigger concern is not necessarily the volume of the snow, the amount of the snow. It's temperatures are gonna be dropping quickly. It's wet out there this evening after the rain today. And uh, so a freeze up of wet areas and uh, with a little coating of snow on top of that, things that are untreated uh, typically early in the day, parking lots and driveways and sidewalks and maybe some residential streets may have some slick spots to contend with as Thursday gets underway. All right, to our north in the primary snow belts of Ohio and Northwest PA, there are lake effect snow warnings out from Cuyahoga County through Lake Geauga, Ashtabula counties, Crawford and Erie counties in PA are included in this. Now, while amounts are gonna be pretty impressive in Northwest PA, especially in up into Southwest New York, it's nothing compared to downwind of Lake Ontario. Probably the biggest lake effect event of the entire winter is set to unfold over the next few days. And this is just through Friday evening. Uh, some of this lake effect may actually continue into Saturday in parts of uh, northern New York. And downwind of Lake Ontario, up near the Tug Hill Plateau, uh, an elevated area, you know, feet, three, four feet uh, of snow is going to be a possibility in, in some of the localized areas downwind of Lake Ontario. Back here at home, let's talk about our Thursday. So again, watch for a few slick spots tomorrow morning. Now, as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, more impactful than the snow for us, I think, is going to be the wind and the cold. Now, in addition to the wind and the cold, there, there are going to be some snow showers around. A lot of the real organized stuff will be more aimed up here, but occasionally a, a band is going to float through our area, and that'll bring the potential for some localized additional accumulations. It's really you know, going to be very localized. Some places will see hardly any additional accumulations tomorrow. Some might see an inch or two or even three, something I can't rule out, especially uh, in areas north of I-80 and the closer you are to kind of the Ashtabula County border, the Crawford and Mercer County border, the closer you are to those adjacent counties uh, just to our north, uh, I think the, the better chance you have of seeing impactful additional accumulations as we go through the day Thursday. So this is the snow map that really hasn't changed much. Now this counts the well, average of about an inch of snow tonight and then accounts for the lake effect tomorrow into tomorrow night. So again, six inches plus a good bet across the primary snow belt of Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA, and into Western New York for our primary television viewing area. Uh, you know, again, up near Mespo and Kinsman and Farmdale and Greenville and New Lebanon, those places that are pretty close to the, you know, the outer fringes of our, of our area, you know, you might end up with a few or uh, even a handful of inches of snow in total. Uh, depending uh, again on how the lake effect tries to behave. But for most of us in our television viewing area, this is an inch or so on average tonight and maybe some small additional accumulations where the bands try to meander tomorrow. Best chance for s some additional modest accumulations tomorrow around and north of I-80. The farther south you are, uh, the less you're gonna see tomorrow. And, and you know, this coating to an inch is primarily just tonight for parts of uh, area uh, our area south of 224. The wind tomorrow, impactful for everyone, gusting to 40, maybe 45 miles per hour, especially in the afternoon. It'll still be blustery into the day Friday, and that will create wind chills as we get up tomorrow morning in the single digits and lower teens, not much better in the afternoon. 
it's going to really feel pretty nasty outside as we wrap up the, uh, not quite wrap up the week uh, tomorrow. We wrap up the week on a, a blustering cold note on Friday, and actually the cold air mass sticks around into Saturday. Now, the models have been trending rather dramatically warmer for Sunday. Uh, our previous forecast had mid-30s for Sunday. I've kind of half-stepped into the lower 40s. I suspect we're going to keep taking Sunday's high up. I'm not going to be surprised if we see 50 or better as early as Sunday after spending a few days really in the deep freeze. And then uh, the warm-up continues next week. How high we get early next week may be dependent on how much rain we see. If we get into some dry slots and not all that much rain occurs, especially Tuesday into Wednesday, 60s on the table. Um, but as it stands now, still well above the average despite a, a decent chance for some rain early on next week. All right, before we wrap up tonight's video, let's talk about the longer range. Let me pull up my browser here. This is a pretty back and forth pattern, I think. Uh, pretty typical of March, actually, over the next couple of weeks. Now, I do think the warm periods will be more uh, of a deviation from average than the cold periods will be. So while there's going to be some back and forth, when we're into the, the warm periods over the next couple of weeks, it'll be more significantly warm than it will be significantly cold when we have those down ticks in temperatures. Here's our uh, cold shot over the next few days, and then here comes the warm-up for the first half of next week. This is likely followed by a cold snap at the end of next week, and this is kind of the pattern we've been in in February. The ends of our work weeks and the starts of the weekends have been colder than Sunday through Tuesday or Wednesday, and that pattern probably does continue into early March. So another cold shot at the end of next week, and right in time for... Uh, the return of daylight saving time on Sunday the 8th. Still pretty chilly looking pattern east of the Mississippi, but then after that it probably does warm back up again as we head into the 11th, 12th, 13th day of March. So you get the idea there. There's some back and forth, but again, uh, there's going to be potential when we're into those warm cycles that it's pretty warm uh, compared to the average for the first half of March. All right, uh, more updates coming up this evening, of course, on social media on 21 News at 11 on the Storm Tracker 21 app and everywhere where you can find weather information from me and from the rest of our team. We'll have you covered tonight and for the morning commute tomorrow and uh, for the rest of winter's revenge, even though it's fairly brief, over the next few days. In the meantime, have a great Wednesday night.